What's up everyone, Gary Steinman here with Alex Amancio, Creative Director of Assassin's Creed Unity in sunny San Diego. Alex, I want to talk to you about the setting of Assassin's Creed Unity, Paris during the French Revolution. Why is that such a great setting? Unity is the first next generation only iteration of the franchise and so we wanted to make sure to go back to our core values and that's all about a large urban center. It is arguably the most beautiful city in the world and it's rich in history. The French Revolution, it was bloody, it was brutal, it was tumultuous. Tell us a little bit about that time frame. It was a very short time frame. It happened from 1789 to about 1794 and it started pretty peacefully but it then degenerated into what was known later as the Reign of Terror where people were just being beheaded. Thousands of people were actually beheaded using the guillotine. It is a very violent period, but in the end, it gave us the Charter of Human Rights, the very foundations of the UN. That's the setting. What is this really the story of? It's a story about Arnaud, our main character, and through this story you will see the French Revolution, and we actually use the French Revolution as a metaphor for many of the narrative beats that we're dealing with in Arnaud's story, which is essentially a redemption quest. We really wanted to steer away from having a game about the French Revolution, because if you start doing that, you become a prisoner of the setting and the context. But for those who really want to dig into the history, because we know that we've got a lot of core fans that love the historical aspects, you've got both the open world gameplay and the Brotherhood missions. Talk to me a little bit about how the Brotherhood missions are an opportunity to really dig into the French Revolution. We have what we call the Paris quests. These are hundreds of different quests that you can perform in Paris that allow you to learn more about historical characters, historical events. And then you have the Brotherhood missions, and these really are the missions that Arnaud did for the Assassins. These missions you can play from one to four players. And it's also a really good opportunity to showcase historical characters, important historical events related to the French Revolution, and historical monuments. Marquis de Sade plays a role in our game. We have, obviously, the King, uh, Marie Antoinette, his wife. We have Napoleon, we have Josephine. Our game is literally littered with historical characters and historical events. 